Today we're going to be talking about solving systems of equations using the substitution method. With the substitution method, we don't have to go through the graphing process, and so it saves a lot of space. Um, and also, we can't solve everything using a simple graph. Sometimes the, the points would be way far off of our normal sized graphs. So the substitution method is one of the methods that lets us solve systems completely algebraically. The steps are written out here, um, and it it goes like this. We're going to first solve one of the equations for its variables. So if you look at this first example down here, that's already done. We'll see what that looks like a little bit later. Then we're going to substitute our expression into uh, the other equation, solve, and use that value to find the other value. So here's what it looks like for example A. First thing I want to do is make sure that I have one of my expression or one of my equations solved for a variable. This one's already solved, just y equals, only y, all by itself, no coefficients. And so I'm going to take this entire expression, 1 plus x, and I'm going to plug it in for y in the other equation. So it's going to be 2x plus 1 plus x, which I just replaced y with because that is what y's value is, equals negative 2. From there, I'm going to work this problem out and get a solution. So for this problem, my x is equal to negative 1. So I'm going to take this x and I can plug it into either of my original equations. It's always best to plug it into the equation that's simpler. So I'm going to say y equals 1 plus negative 1, because that's what we're saying x is for this equation. 1 plus negative 1 is 0, so y equals 0, which means my ordered pair, that's the solution to this system of equations, is negative 1, 0. The final step is to check my answer. So in order to check my answer, I'm going to plug my ordered pair into both equations and make sure that the answer works out. When I plug it into this first equation, y equals 1 plus x, my y is 0, 1 plus negative 1 is 0, 0 equals 0, so that one works out. Then I'm going to take and check it in my second equation, 2x plus y equals negative 2. Replace my values, negative 1 for x, 0 for y, and that gives me negative 2 plus 0 equals negative 2. So negative 2 equals negative 2. So my check is good, which means my solution is negative 1, 0 to this system of equations. So the second example, example B. In this example, the second equation is solved for x. x is by itself on the left side. We've got no coefficient. We've got nothing else. So for this example, we're going to take the expression negative 4y minus 4, and we're going to replace it where x is in that first equation. So 3 times negative 4y minus 4. This is where it's super important to use parentheses when you put your expression in. Plus 2y equals 8. Then I'm going to distribute negative 12y minus 12 plus 2y equals 8. And from here, I'm just going to combine like terms. So negative 10y minus 12 equals 8. Isolate my variable. Negative 10y equals 20. And then use inverse operations to get y equals negative 2. Once I have my y value, I can replace y into either equation. Since this one is already solved for x, that one's going to be a little bit easier, but either equation would work. x equals negative 4 times y is negative 2 minus 4. And from there, I'm just going to simplify. So that becomes 8 minus 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. So my x value is 4. Which means that for this system of equations, my ordered pair that's a solution is 4, negative 2. That last step is just to check. So I'm going to put my values in. I'm going to say 3 times 4 plus 2 times negative 2 equals 8. That's 12, negative 4. 12 and negative 4 makes 8. 8 equals 8, so that one checks out. And now I need to check it in my second equation. 
x equals negative 4, y minus 4. So my x is 4. My y is negative 2. Negative 4 times negative 2 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. 4 equals 4, so that checks out, which means we're all good. This 4, negative 2, is the solution to this system of equations. Alright, so here we go. Example C. This one is solved for y. So I'm going to take this expression and I'm going to replace it for y. x minus negative 4x plus 2 equals negative 17. This negative sign in front of the parentheses is a common place people make mistakes. We want to remember that that's a negative 1 and we have to distribute the negative 1 to both terms in the parentheses. So x plus 4x minus 2 equals negative 17. Combine like terms, 5x minus 2 equals negative 17. And then go through the inverse operation steps to solve and find out that x equals negative 3. Once we get that x value, we can plug it into either equation. Again, this one is simpler because y is solved, but it would work in either one. So I'm going to say y equals negative 4 times negative 3 plus 2. Negative 4 times negative 3 is 12. And 12 plus 2 is 14. So my y value is 14, which means my ordered pair that's the solution to this system equations is negative 3, 14. This is a good example of why we would not want to graph this. Most of our graphs don't have 14 on them. And so that would end up far off the graph and wouldn't give us a good answer. All right, looking at example D. Example D is slightly different in that it does not have any variable isolated. Both of these have both variables on the left side. So we want to solve for one variable. We can solve for any variable. It doesn't really matter. Um, but sometimes, usually, there's one that makes the most sense to solve for. In this case, I'm going to take this first equation, 2x minus y equals 3. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, and that's going to leave me with negative y equals negative 2x plus 3. And then I need to get rid of this negative sign, so I'm going to divide the whole thing by negative 1 and get y equals 2x minus 3. So now this equation and this equation are exactly the same. And since these two equations are exactly the same, uh, I'm going to use this one and this one as my system. So my second equation is 3x minus y equals 4. Those, this is now the system I want to solve. So I'm going to take this equation, 3x minus, instead of y, I'm going to replace it with this expression, 2x minus 3 equals 4. So I took this equation that I solved and I plugged it into this equation. And from there, don't forget to distribute that negative sign. I'm going to just combine like terms and find out that x equals 1. Since x equals 1, I can plug that into this equation or this equation or this rewritten equation. And since I can plug it in the rewritten one and it's already solved for y, that's the shortest way to get to the answer. So I'm gonna say y equals two times one minus three. Two times one is two. And two minus three is negative one. So the ordered pair that is the solution to this original system of equations is one, negative one.